you would like to automate some aspects of organic synthesis, but automating the whole of organic synthesis is incredibly difficult because of the vast complexity of organic structures. And that complexity and variety gives huge variation in reactivity, which makes it very, very difficult to fully automate. But if you look at where automation has been successful in chemistry, it's been successful in peptide synthesis, in DNA and RNA synthesis, and also now quite recently in oligosaccharide synthesis. So those chemistries involve uh, making the same type of bond, and that bond forming reaction is robust. Now we've developed a robust chemical reaction that couples boronic esters with organolithium reagents. Uh, the product of that reaction is a new boronic ester, which can then be coupled again and again. And our idea is now to use the automated platform to do those coupling reactions and automate the process. Now, our building blocks are components of polyketide natural products. So this methodology, this chemistry, should allow us to prepare a large variety of polyketide type natural products. And the reason that we're focused on this particular family of natural products is that they have been the most successful in terms of applications in human health. About 20% of pharmaceuticals are either polyketide natural products or polyketide derivatives. So we think that by using our chemistry on the automated platform, we should be able to create a variety of structures that could be of benefit to drug discovery programs. In the future, I'm expecting computers to give us a range of different options to make a complex molecule. And then together with the scientists, the scientists will then decide which of those different possible pathways they will use. And the computer will probably come up with different pathways that the scientists would not have come up with themselves.